Hey guys, good evening. This is Victoria B. Welcome back to my channel. I will be doing the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I'm aiming for a love reading. Okay, I'm hoping that nothing bad will come up in this reading. I'm hoping it stays positive. I'm doing I'm gonna do an Aries reading for Aries and their person, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Okay. I will be using the ARC animal cards and I'll be clarifying with the animal totem cards. Okay. Okay, Spirit, what do we got for Aries tonight? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, allow me to be the channel for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Allow the messages to come through for Aries and their person of interest, their love interest. All right, and let us, anything else we might need to know for this reading, Aries, thank you. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, let's shuffle. All right, what is the energy for Aries person? What is Aries person's energy? Holy Spirit, thank you. The Pangolin, Five of Pentacles, Dark Knight of the Soul, Loneliness, Loss of Home. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right, this is the Pangolin. It's the Six of Pentacles, I mean the Five of Pentacles. All right, uh, somebody you know, your person could be in dark night of the soul. They could be going through a spiritual awakening, maybe a forced spiritual awakening. Um, they're lonely, they're sad, and they they could have lost their home. They could have lost their home. That's sad, Aries. I don't know. Could have lost their home anyway. Okay, that's Aries person's energy. What is um, Aries energy at this time? What is my Aries energy at this time? Aries, okay, we got two, I'm only going to take, well, I guess I can go ahead and take them both, we have the pig, the ten of pentacles, family, true wealth, avoiding risk, okay, that's you, Aries, you're in ten of pentacles energy, you could have family wealth, family stability, um, you could be very stable at this time, your, your pentacles are all the way to the ten, you're not taking any risks right now, okay? I see two people, two pigs on this card. Uh, this could be this person here. Maybe um, maybe you had to leave this person out in the cold, all right? Maybe they were um, didn't match your, your vibration, match your energy, all right? But this person, it looks like this. somebody is kissing you on the cheek, or you could be with another person right now. Ten of Pentacles energy. And then I'm going to take this card, Walrus, Eight of Cups, Abandonment, Escapism, True Seeing. Okay, this little walrus is down by the water reflecting. You had to walk away emotionally from this person. I don't know. It looks like you're stable and they're not. They could have lost their home, which is sad for anybody, all right? And they're lonely and they're going through dark night of the soul because you walked away from them either emotionally or all the way okay you might be with somebody else right now maybe not or maybe this is your person maybe this is the person you're supposed to be with i don't know but that's the two we got for your energy you're doing very well right now this other person your person's not doing so hot aries okay what is crowning the spread for aries sun moon rising venus what is what is crowning the spirit the spread for this relationship read? What do we need to know? Crowning the spread. Thank you, Spirit. The Dolphin, the Knight of Cups, Joy, True Romance, or Trickster. Okay. The Knight of Cups, this is the Dolphin. This is giving me that your person may want to come back in. They might be um they, they don't have to be a trickster. Sometimes the Knight of Cups is true. It depends on their heart. Uh, this person has feelings for you. All right? This person has feelings for you. They have a lot of love for you. Uh, they're, they could be a, a smooth talker, a trickster, something like that. That's what the card says. And But they exude joy and happiness. You know, dolphins are very intelligent. This could be a person that's actually very intelligent, you know? Anyway, what is the root of the problem for Aries and their person? Spirit, what is the root of the problem for Aries and their person? What is the root of the problem for Aries and their person? Okay. The fly, 
the five of swords, winning at all costs, pride before pride before the fall. Okay, this is the five of swords. Um, this person that's grieving you right now, going through dark night of the soul, they could have lost their home. They could have um, been gaslighting you or been very jealous of you. Uh, five of swords can be extreme jealousy. Maybe they caused, um, they could have been in a gang of people. They could have caused a, a gang of people to go against you. This person is, uh, has to win by any means necessary. Manipulation, narcissism. Yeah. Mm hmm Okay. My cards just did a number. Hold on just a minute. Yeah, here we go. All right, let's, let's put some smoke on these cards real quick. All right, past energy for Aries and their person. Past energy for Aries and their person. Okay, we have the whale, judgment, rising up, clarity, awakening, mercy. Okay, this was in the past, um, the whale, judgment. You had to make a judgment call on this person, and you had to leave them out in the cold because they're they're not stable. Um they're going, they're not awakened yet. They're going through dark night of the soul, kind of like hangman. Their hangman is like a forced awakening of that person. And they're, they were not at your vibrational match at this time. Okay. They're under some kind of judgment, maybe something they did to you. And this is you making a judgment call. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Okay, the bottom of the deck is Tiger, King of Wands, and the past energy. Loyalty, an honorable spirit, and ferocious. Okay. This could be their energy. Okay, Tiger, ferocious, <laughs> King of Wands, uh, fire sign, Aries, Aries Leo, Sag. You could have been, you could have been with another fire sign. Okay, what is the future position for, um, dang, hold on. Hold on, spirit. What is the future position for Aries and their person? Future position. Now that one wanted to come out. Caterpillar, four of pentacles. Scarcity consciousness, material success, fear of loss. Okay. That's what's coming up in the future. Okay, and the love meaning of the Four of Pentacles is this person is still holding on to you with their heart chakra, and they're not letting go. They're still holding on to you energetically. And it also could mean that to be to be careful, because you're in the Ten of Pentacles. You're trying to avoid risk. All right, you're avoiding risk. You walked away from this person. This person is can, may not be very good with finances. They could have lost their home. Um, this here is somebody that's greedy. Be careful. This person's holding on to you, but they also could be uh, seeing your Ten of Pentacles. They may want to get some of that Ten of Pentacles, you know, but they are still energetically holding on to you. Let me move these cards over because this table's not real big. Hold on just a minute. Bear with me. Looks like they want to come back and take the next, next re the relationship to the next level with you. Okay. That could be them. Knight of Cups, King of Wands in the past. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Oh my gosh, y'all. I want to take this as a future. This is a warning. This is the Five of Wands, the Tasmanian Devil. This King of Wands might be a Tasmanian Devil. Uh, conflict, competition, hiding from truths. Yeah, you, you had to let go of this person. Because they were, uh, I told you there was a gang. Look, look at this. Hold on, let me find my Five of Swords card. Don't you love these animal cards? Ain't they so cute? But they're not all fun and games. They got some harsh meanings to them. Um, five of Wands and Five of Swords can mean that they could have gang stalked you. You know, in other words, to turn to try to turn a whole group of people against you. All right. Constant, you know, jealousy, fighting, competition. Could have had you in competition with other people. You name it. Um, arguments, family, had their family gang up on you. Some kind of um, betrayal in a group sex in a group betrayal in a group setting. Excuse me. They don't want me to say that. 
All right, so that's that's your future, and they want your money. They want your pinnacles. God, I don't, I hate to be negative, but hopefully this Knight of Cups might be someone new coming in. I'm hoping, or you you know you may are. I'm reading for Aries. I know some of you might already have a person because on this Ten of Pinnacles, I see two two piggies kissing. Yeah, wow. Yeah, Ten of Swords, the hyena, betrayal, deep wounds, recovery. Yeah, this person, um. This person did you dirty. They betrayed you. And in the, that's still in the future position. So they're coming back to do the same damn thing. That's what I'm seeing. And they may have a gang of people working against you. This is sad. Okay, I'm sorry, Aries. You know me. I got to be truthful. But I'm hoping that Knight of Cups is a new energy. Because sometimes it could be. could mean that. All right, what is Aries... What is Aries, how, or how's my Aries feeling? How's my Aries seeing themselves at this time, spirit? How's my Aries seeing themselves at this time? How's my Aries seeing themselves at this time? How is my Aries seeing themselves at this time? How is Aries, spirit, how is Aries seeing themselves at this time? Okay, that one's wanting to come out. The snow leopard, the hermit, ascension, illumination, introspection. Yeah, this is you. You're in hermit mode. You're very, you could be spiritual. You could be very smart. You might, you probably have figured all this out already about this person. If you haven't, you're going to get it now. You get messages from above. You're going through a spiritual ascension. The hermit has illuminated information to you that you need to know. This is probably why you cut this person why you why you broke up with this person? Whoever this is, it's this King of Wands energy. Mm hmm. Okay. All right. What is? What are other people seeing about my Aries? What are other people? How are they seeing my Aries at this time? Other people? How are other people seeing my Aries at this time? Sorry, guys. That went falling in the floor. Black Panther, Queen of Wands. Oh, my goodness. This is you, honey. Aries is the Queen of Wands. Intense love of life, determination, altruism. Yeah, you had to you had to take back your power with this Queen of Wands energy. This is your energy right now. You're, you're, you're beautiful. You're confident. You're bold. You know? Look, we got a tiger and a panther. The King and Queen of Wands. Okay? King and Queen of Wands. That's a match. So this is your, I hate to say it, but this is your counterpart. This is a match. All right, for now. And I see another queen on the bottom. The Jaguar, the Queen of Swords. I'm looking this, I'm looking at this card since it was on the bottom of the deck for the Panther, Queen of Wands, which is you. Queen of Swords, Quick Wit. Facing demons, profound transformation. Okay, this Queen of Swords was on the bottom. So this King of Wands could have been dealing with a Queen of Swords, a Libra energy that could have been, they could have uh, juggled you with someone else, another man, another woman. You know, these, uh, there's no, there's no gender. There's no, in this, in my spreads, so in my love spreads, you know, you can reverse, reverse the roles, male or female. And even reverse the story, vice versa. So we have that, Queen of Swords, that's on the bottom. That's the other person's energy. It looks like that could be your energy or it could be some competition. Because whenever you have two queens in a spread, it's drama. So we got two queens and a king. Maybe that, that, that air sign energy, energy, don't have to be an air sign. Queen of Swords is your competition. Maybe they, they put you in competition with this Queen of Swords. It could be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, or air energy. This person could be, it says, quick wit, facing demons, profound transformation. If this other person, if, if this Queen of Swords, this King of Wands was dealing with this Queen of Swords behind your back, this person outsmarted them. Uh, they probably got karma wherever they went with this person. This person was probably, probably met their match is what I'm hearing. And this person, this Queen of Swords, she got involved with this, she or he got involved with this King of Wands. And they had to face some demons. That person might have did them the same way that they did you. Okay? So, transformation. It caused this, even caused this Queen of Swords to go in a transformation. Okay? So, they, may not be, they might not be with anybody. They're lonely right now. Lonely, 
going through some kind of forced enlightenment with a hangman energy, okay? They might feel like, I'm getting, they feel like they've been violated, sacrificed with that hangman, and they may be just kind of, you know, feeling sorry for themselves right now, you know? Going through a pity party is what I'm hearing. All right. What is, give us, um, what are Aries' hopes and fears at this time? Aries, Aries' hopes and fears at this time. Hang on, guys. I got to fix something. All right. What is Aries' hopes at this time? What is Aries' hopes? What are they hoping for? What do you guys want? What are you hoping for? What is Aries hoping for? What's your hope? The squirrel, the ace of wands. I love this card. Inspiration, bright future, false starts. Okay, look. This is something. You're hoping for a passionate new beginning, maybe with a new person or maybe them. I don't know. Some, you're wishing for some kind of passionate new beginning. This is a squirrel. You know, and that that person, that, that Five of Pentacles, that King of Wands person, you know, they may be acting squirrely right now, acting all crazy, acting squirrely, flying around. Be like the Four of Pentacles trying to gather gather resources from wherever they can find it because they're they could have lost their home or they're in some kind of uh, low vibrational energy. Inspiration, bright future, false starts. Okay, you're hoping for this. You're hoping for a new a new adventure, a new love, but you don't want to go through any more of these false starts. You don't want it to just be sex, okay, and then it's done. Or maybe that's what you want. You tell me, Aries, if you, you know, that's what, like, like I said, the Ace of Wands can burn out just as fast as it started. So you don't want to go through that. Oh, wow. Four of Wands. Homecoming. Rest after labor. Nirvana. Oh my God, y'all, Nirvana. I got to read, look, look at this card. It is absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous. Look at that hummingbird. Isn't he cute? Look at that. Look, Four of Wands is a twin flame card. Homecoming, rest after labor, labor, Nirvana. Okay, you could be in this energy. That's what you want. You want Nirvana. You want peace. You want peace, peace. You want homecoming. You want to rest after all your labors and your hard work. <coughs> Let's see. That could be okay. Sometimes this can mean an upgrade in a relationship with this Knight of Cups. It might be a new person coming in. Maybe not, but maybe. Hummingbird is the Four of Wands. That can mean an upgrade in a relationship, a new person, a better person coming in. Or it can mean this person is a twin flame, this uh, King of Wands energy that acts squirrely. All right. What is the outcome, please, for this situation? What is the out outcome for Aries? What can they hope? I mean, what? how is this going to turn out? How is this going to turn out? How is this going to turn out? The cat, the page of swords, primal instincts landing on your feet. All right, look, this tiger, this is, you know, the page of swords is somebody that's spying or trying to learn things about you. Somebody, the page of swords is actually the most cleverest, sharpest mind in the deck. All right, this could be, it kind of reminds me, this is the, your person, the king of wands, and there's a cat here. There could be a member of their family like spying on you, they could have right now. They're like at the outcome right now is their family members could be spying on you, children, their children, or that air sign energy, that Queen of Swords energy. But this is some I'm getting with this. It's a member of their family because the cat, the the cat is a member. The tiger is a member of the cat family, and we got a cat here. So I'm getting that's family spying. They're they're spying and they're getting family to spy. That's the uh, outcome. That's what's going to be going on right now but energies can change all right let me see what's on the bottom of the deck ladybug fortune gratification wishes okay this is you this is you good luck good fortune 
We have the Ten of Pentacles. You already got your Ten of Pentacles. You might already be with somebody. But there's two people there's two pigs in that card, and one of them is giving you a big old kiss, Aries. Alrighty. Okay. <laughs> Okay. All right. But even though people are watching you, this this is how it's going to turn out. You're just going to continue to have this good luck and good fortune. But I'm getting you got some peeps watching. All right. I'm going to pull. I'm going to see who this Queen of Swords is. Because that could have been your energy. But I just want to make sure. Where's my Queen of Swords? Is she hiding? Is she fall on the floor? That is so crazy. This queen, I kid you not, this queen of swords is gone off of my spread. What the hell just happened? She disappeared. Let me see if she's in the floor. Oh my God, y'all. What the hell? Let me make sure I'm not, nope. I swear, this, this card just like disappeared, okay? I can't even find it on the floor. Okay, I'm going to take that. There she is right there. She disappeared from me. This person is some some ex they're dealing with or something, and they're trying to hide. <laughs> they might be spying on you, too. All right, what is, we're going to see what the cards say about this Queen of Swords, though. Because I'm getting that with some sort of competition. This is crazy. All right. And none of these signs have to be relevant. It's just the energies I'm reading. I do say the signs because sometimes the signs will help you figure it out. You know, if you know the sign of your person. But if you don't know, just watch the energy. Okay, who is this Queen of Swords, this uh, King of Wands that your person was juggling you with? Who is this uh, Queen of Swords? Quick wit, facing demons, profound transformation. This person could be, you know, very, very smart. It also, with that cat, that Page of Pentacles, they could also have... Their family, this ex-family might be spying on you. There's a lot of drama, five of wands, five of swords. A lot of drama went on here. I mean, a lot of conflict. Like, you know, gang stalking don't mean that, you know, it don't always mean that you live in the hood and you got literally got people with guns stalking you or you live in where I live and you got some country-ass people. You got a gang of country farmers and they all got guns or something like that, okay? It don't mean that. It, it don't have to mean that. It could, it could, but normally gang stalking is just people spying on you. Sometimes, most of the time, it's very low key, but you can feel it if they're doing it. Okay. Queen of Swords. Who? What's this Queen of Swords up to? The Two of Cups. Okay. All right. This could be a friend of theirs, or their soulmate, or a soulmate energy. All right, let's see. What is the Queen of Wands here? Let's get a Queen of Wands. Yeah, Seven of Cups. Ah, this is what happened. Look, this person, I'm sorry my screen cut off. The person that, um, just bear with me, it will come back on momentarily. We got the Two of Cups and the Seven of Cups, okay? This Seven of Cups, there's dragonflies flying around all this food at the picnic, and they can't keep their hands out of the cups. This Queen of Swords that got involved with your King of Wands cheated on him or her. And maybe that happened with you guys. I'm getting, this is what I'm getting, Aries. The same thing, the exact same thing that they did to you happened to them. You hear me, Aries? The exact same thing that you that the exact same thing that they did to you is happening to them right now. It's going on cuz we're reading for now. Mhm. Mm Four of cups too. Reject rejection. Yeah. And Aries, you're an empress. You're coming I mean, queen of wands, but you're coming up as an empress here. All right? They rejected an empress to go to this queen of swords. And now this person, I got the zombie toad. I wish y'all could see this. I'm so sorry. It'll come back on, though. You know how energy is. They didn't want me talking about it. So, the four of swords is a zombie toad. This person is trying to heal, but they're they're still in five of pentacles energy. Yeah. 
strength. You could be dealing with a Leo. Yep. Ten of Pentacles. They could have married this person. Magician. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we got somebody else trying to get in here. We got a King of Cups. I don't know if that's... I'm going to see. This This person is... This person's energy change in this reading. This King of Wands went from went from the King of Wands to the King of Cups. Their feelings changed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And here he is, here's the King of Wands again. It looks like a Tasmanian. It's the same animal as on the other card. It's a Tasmanian devil. And this King of Wands is ready to pounce on anybody that gets in their way. Oh, my God. So you got... This, this this King of Wands changed their feelings, but then we got King of Wands energy over here. Maybe they're just pretending like they're just. Yeah, I have the King and Queen of Wands again. Okay, I have the couple here. So there's a King of Cups. It could be a new person, or it could be your person's energy. Like I said, they're in their feelings. So I have the King and Queen of Wands on here twice in both sets of cards. So this person, this past person, is probably your counterpart. Okay, I'm sorry. The Sun, Leo. Uh, this is all going to be illuminated to you if it hasn't been already. Yeah. This person really broke your heart. I'm getting, you know, or this person is could be heartbroken. I, their, their ex could be heartbroken and you could be heartbroken. This person has broke a lot of damn hearts. That's sad. I'm sorry, Aries. All right. But I know you guys are really strong. You're like the leader of the fire signs. I know you can deal with this. I know that you're probably handling it just fine. But it, it, it hurts. I know that. I know that too. So we have the king and queen of wands twice. Wow. And the outcome is going to be uh, good luck, good fortune. The, the ladybug. Three of swords. There's an elephant here. Elephants. And it shows bones of their dead loved ones. Uh, somebody could have had a death in the family, a death of a child, but for love purposes, I'll just throw in some, that's a side note. For love purposes, um, the elephant carries around their dead loved one's bones for years. They, they take them everywhere they go. They, they don't ever forget. So this person might not ever forget you. Wow. Mm -hmm. My goodness. Okay. Let me see if I need to clarify anything else. Who is this Knight of Cups? The Dolphin, the Knight of Cups. The Queen of Pentacles. Okay. And I saw the King. Okay. This is somebody... Yeah. Death. The Tower. You're... Oh my God, you guys. You guys are going to have... Uh, it looks like it might be somebody new. Is this somebody new? Yeah, this person is going through it too. Okay. Is this a new person? Let's make sure. Is this a Knight of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Energy New, the High Priestess? They don't want us to know. This um, card on here, this spider, it's a Black Widow spider. Oh my God. This person coming in might be a Black Widow. But I don't want to assume that. Let's look at the positive meaning, okay? The moon has a black widow spider in her web. And then we have a prenumbral lunar... I don't feel like explaining that. I know what it is. It's very long and it'll take a, take me five minutes, another five minutes to tell you. A prenumbral, P-R-E-N-U-M-B-R-A-L, prenumbral lunar eclipse. That's what's going on on this moon. So something's going to happen. In the next the next eclipse we're in yeah oh, wow the hangman let me see the world okay let me see I will get a romance angel yeah knight of cups came out again so that's verifying who it is um, let's see let me get these romance angels out I'm gonna make sure that this new person's you know cool make sure it's they're kosher you know what i mean that they're not going to be coming in with tricks because it does say trickster on here all right what is the dolphin the knight of cups joy true romance, true romance trickster the queen of pentacles death the high priestess the hangman the world and the knight of cups 
What do we need to know about this for Aries, for love? What does Aries need to know for their highest good? Knight of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Death, the High Priestess. Okay. Retreat and engagement. Yeah. Okay. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. They let me... They didn't like me. They, see, I told you, sometimes this, this, this is my computer. There's nothing wrong with it. It's a Mac Air, MacBook Air. It's the best you can get. Nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with my cameras. I checked. The energy, it don't like certain energy. I, I'm going to, I have a video I'm going to do on that soon. Y'all are going to be blown away by that as well. But this is somebody that could be older than you, younger than you. One of y'all could be very different. You could be another race, another color, another value system, another whole person. Just completely different. Don't have to be about race or anything. Because in spirituality, there is no color, there is no race. We don't do that. We're supposed to love everybody. I don't care what color you are. You're supposed to love everybody. If you're going to be spiritual, you need to go all the fucking way with it. All right? Sorry. Excuse me. I get really mad about that. I don't like that. I don't like racists. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So, this person coming in might ask you to get engaged. They might be giving you a ring, Aries. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. You know this person. Okay, you already know this person. Let me see. Okay, what else do we need to know? What else do we need to know? I'm going to make sure that this is going to go. Okay, we're going to double check. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Yeah, we got the Knight of Cups twice. Okay, I showed you the first. You never got to see this Knight of Cups. This is a blue-footed booby. That's the name of the bird. <laughs> you saw the other one was a dolphin. So y'all could like live, you know, you might live to the close to the water. Or you like the water or you were had a past life in Atlantis or something like that. But anyway, side note, Knight of Cups. You got it twice. So both of you guys because are mirroring each other. And there's people getting in the way. There's somebody in here getting in the way. It's a whole group of people. All right? It's a whole group of people. Five of Wands, Five of Swords. And somebody in their family is spying on you. It, this, is, this don't have to... This is an ex. This is family member. It's a whole bunch of shit going on. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring with that Knight of Cups. Yeah. Um, I'm going to keep going with this. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. They're saying to give this person a chance, this new person coming in. You deserve love. You are lovable. Beautiful. Okay. Wedding. This situation involves marriage. Okay. Because we have engagement here. They might ask you to get married. Okay. Okay. And it could also mean with this Queen of Pentacles up here. This Queen of Pentacles could be the new person. And they might be with somebody. They might be married. Or you got it, You take it either way. The positive meaning you could get married. They could ask you to get married. Or it could mean the Queen of Pentacles, which is verified the Knight of Cups, is um, married. Either, either or. You know your situation. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Okay? So you need to wait. You just got to be patient and wait if you if you want a new person. Yeah, wow. There's so much shit in here. You would not believe it. Wow, that came out in reverse. I'm going to keep going, y'all. I'm just being guided to go. Codependency. Addictions are reflect, reflecting your romantic life. Yeah, this person, you or your person, somebody's got some addictions. Look, it could be them that, or they could be attacked in a codependent relationship with that Queen of Pentacles up there. Okay, but it says you guys are a match. King and Queen of Wands came out twice. All right. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So you need to give, you know, both of you guys need to give the relationship a chance. Religious factors. I told you, look, we've got this. Look, how different they are, how they look. I told you it could be anything. It could be religious systems as well. Any kind of, you could be totally different on that, on everything. Religious, your love light, your religious factors. I'm getting excited, y'all. Look. 
your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Somebody here needs to let go of some old ways of thinking or this family. This person's family is all up in y'all's business. I just see it with that tiger, king of wands, and the page of the um the um page of swords, which was the cat. They got they're all up in y'all's business. It's no wonder you couldn't be with this person. You already know them. Deception in reverse. That's why I kept going. I saw that card. It's the only card in the deck. Look, y'all. The only card in the deck that did not come up. I just want to make sure you knew. That's why I kept going with the reading. This person is no longer deceptive. They could have been like the Knight of Cups. It says trickster. They could have been a trickster in the past. Okay. But they're not anymore. They've, tur they've turned over a new leaf here, it looks like. Wow. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. This person, this King of Wands is, is trying to, is trying, I think, yeah, I think uh, you're, it's either a new person or this Queen of, this King of Wands. What, they're your soulmate. They're calling you in. They don't, the, the angels took their, see, this is the upright. The angels took their mask off. Now, they came out, I've never seen, I hardly ever see this deck come out in reverse, but it was in there. That's why I wanted to, that's why I kept reading it. All right. Let me see. Do I need to go? Yeah, it's a whole love story here. Okay, express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. This person could be your twin flame or your soulmate. Definitely a, with a king and queen of wands twice. Very passionate. Past life relationship. You have known each other before. Okay, I'm going to stop right there. And we're going to get the past life. We're going to get the uh, past life cards out and see what they have to say about that. Try to go a little deeper and check it out. All right, I'm going to read as long as the spirit lets me read. All right, let's see. What kind of past life... Did you have with this person? What kind of past life did you have with this person? I got the deck. I got to give it a little. Wake it up. Okay, let's run some. Run, put some smoke on it. We'll get to the good part now. Past life connection. You have known each other before. I see either twin flame or soulmate energy. Okay. It might end really beautiful. That's kind of what I'm seeing. It's going to end really beautiful. I'm just shocked. Okay. Past life. What kind of past life spirit did Aries have with this person? What kind of past life did you guys have together? Past life love. What kind of what kind of past life did you have together? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Scribe or writer. Okay. I also got Egypt. Mm hmm. Okay. Hmm. Oh, God, y'all. I don't even need to read this. I'm not going to go into too much detail. This takes a lot of reading to do. Okay. Past life. really. You've known this person. It was a past life love. Okay. Subscribe. I mean, subscribe. Yeah, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget. Hit the like and subscribe. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I really appreciate it. Scribe or writer. One of y'all could have been a, a writer scribe a, a scholar in a in a past life you could have an egyptian past life connection and what i am seeing is this is i see karmic relationship okay karmic relationship look what i'm seeing is you have the king and queen of wands twice you guys are a match you're a counterpart all these soulmate cards are in here okay but you your person or whoever you know, this could be, you could be the one kissing this person goodbye on this card. See what I'm saying? Look. But we have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Queen of Swords. We have the Queen of Wands. Um, 
the only queen in here is the queen of cups the cup the queen of cups is missing all right so what i'm seeing is because you two are counterparts like your twin flame or soulmate either you or your person had karmic relationships in a past life and it and with the five of wands and the five of swords together like this person's family's all up in your business their ex's family's all up in y'all's business i mean it's just it's a mess you had to remove yourself from it it was just too much too damn much you know you're in ten of pentacles energy you're in good luck with the ladybug this person is eyeballing your money they want yo money you know they don't want to make their own money they want it they want your money they don't want their money they want your money even if they have money, they want your money too. All right? Egypt. Karmic. So it's a past life karmic. So you're going to have a new person coming in. All right? And this, not a new person, but your old person is your is your person. But the problem is to... Whoa. Sorry, guys. How did that happen? Unless somebody's talking, aren't they? Sorry about that. Okay. What was I saying? That threw me off. Okay. You you have count two counter. Uh, the king and queen of wands showed up twice. That's absolute counterpart. We have every soulmate card. We have twin flame soulmate card. We have the two of cups. We have it all. Knight of cups twice. Y'all mirror each other. But in a past life, this could have been the same situation. It could have been a group of people. You know, that's low-key gang, low gang stalking. Low-key. You, know, you, you got the gangster, the real gangster stuff in the city, and you got, like I said, you got the country where I live. I've lived in cities, too, where you got the country, and the country is like, you know, a bunch of crazy people, a bunch of, you know, a bunch of, uh, I don't want to, how do I say this, a bunch of country guys, Flannel shirts, jeans, cowboy hats, you know, drive a truck, you know, you know, always got something in the back of their truck, you know, they farmers or they're blue collar workers, which that's a great thing. I like that. I love that. But I'm saying that totally different from the city. It's more low key. It's more low key. You know, they got their guns too, but it's more low key. They'll try to be polite to you first before they before they have to do anything. So, does that make any sense? It probably don't. Anyway, I'm going to see something. I'm going to I'm going to uh, double check some more and I'm going to light some more frankincense because I think we need it. There is But anyway, you went through this in a past life. Okay? You went through with this person. There was karmics. It was a cuz we got five of wands, five of swords, then we got five of wands again. So that was a whole group of people. It's your family, your friends, your co-worker. I mean, anybody. Tom, Dick, and Harry, children. You name it, you know. The pit bull, the Rottweiler, the German Shepherd, you know, the poodle, whatever. You know, whatever you want to call that, all right? But anyway. That's more subtly gang stalking. And then you got the city where they just come and they just... They follow you around, intimidate you. It's the same. It's gang stalking any way you look at it. There's just levels to gang stalking. Why am I talking about this? I don't know. Anyway, put some smoke on this. All right, who is this queen of, who's this queen of pentacles? Can you verify and, queen of pentacles. Let's get, what sign is this queen of pentacles? What sign is this Queen of Pentacles? Oh, the King of Pentacles. Oh my God, yes. Okay, look. The person you're supposed to be with is with somebody else right now. That's a couple. All right. They may have, like, not in a past life. I'm, I'm, back, I'm back in the present moment now. We did that karmic thing. But now, this person may have led you on or made you think something. They did something. Okay? And may they might have apologized to you. Okay? 
and they I think they feel bad they did they actually apologize they feel bad they're with another person so that Queen of Pentacles is your you got the King and Queen of Pentacles and the King and Queen of Wands so y'all are counterparts it's not a new person it's not a it's somebody you already know it's someone you already know someone you already know and they're in good energy they're in queen but they may have a partner and they may you know king there's a queen of wands again see yep queen of cups on the bottom look at y'all look this is the emperor or the empress has not come out but it's the same thing you know you got all four yeah we have all four kings all four queens so both of you guys are emperors and empresses and the two, you, your counterpart, you and they are with somebody, but you guys are supposed to be together. You got the King and Queen of Wands and the King and Queen of Pentacles. All right. I hope I'm making that clear, I'm not making it difficult. But let's get some more information. I just keep on. I'm just gonna keep on going if you guys don't mind. You know, I'm sorry I haven't done a reading for you guys in a while. Um, I don't get, I had, I get some channel messages for you guys sometimes, but it's certain signs I get more channel messages. Maybe you guys should, uh, like hit the like button and watch my videos more often. Go back and watch some old ones and maybe we could tap into my energy and I could channel for you, but I haven't got any channel messages for you this month. And it's maybe cause you, maybe, you know, you don't need it. Maybe, you know, you're not needing anyone to help you, but let me, you know, I can, I'll be able to, to, if you hit the like button, you subscribe, you watch my videos, I will be able to connect with your energy better and give you a better reading. Okay. I'm serious. That actually works. So I'm here to tell you, I gotta find my other deck. I don't know what I did with it. Just bear with me, guys. I have a lot going on over here. <laughs> I don't have a lot of space in my house, and I'm working on some projects, and I had to find this little corner to read in. I'm working on some other projects, you know, work-related, so. Okay, I see we have the King and Queen of Wands, the Panther and the Tiger. Isn't that gorgeous? The Panther and the Tiger. And then we have it again, the King of Wands. Where's the Queen of Wands? Did she come up here twice? The Queen of Wands. I know she's uh, here. She is. Yeah, she's. I know we have her twice. I saw it. So hold on just a minute. Let me find her. Two of Cups. Ten of Pentacles twice. So both you guys could have the. There's the Empress. So there's definitely an Empress in here. But the Emperor is here too. I told you all. Four kings, all four queens, and a spread. It's Emperor. If you're doing a love reading, it's Emperor. Emperor. Empress. Empress energy. Look, family. I told you guys you had a lot of karmic family members. Okay? Or this could be your soul family, your soul tribe. Yeah, that's that's gorgeous. Uh you may not, Aries, you might not be talking to this person right now. Maybe they did something, but they may may maybe they apologize or something. Maybe they didn't mean it. Maybe they led you on or made you think of something, you know, they maybe they weren't truthful with you. They they're sorry. I'm, I don't know why I'm hearing that. I'm hearing a lot of messages tonight, Got Messages tonight. All right, we have... Yeah, I saw the King and Queen of Swords is in here, too. So somebody's about to get separated. There's the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. I wanted to show you... It, I'm sorry about my video freezing up. I want you to see these cards. They're so cute. This is the King and Queen of Wands. We have a Tasmanian Devil and a Lioness. And then here we have the Panther and the Tiger. And... What was that other card that I was talking about that? Yeah, that Page of Swords. That's some family spying going on. Ten of Pentacles twice. Y'all are in the same energy. Y'all both got karmics messing with your relationship now. And it happened in a past life too. I mean, need I say more? Yeah, the King and Queen of Pentacles is here. The King and Queen of Pentacles. All right. We have the Four of Wands. I just want to show you all of the, the Twin Flame cards. Yeah, the Hummingbird, the Four of Wands. If you guys got together, it could be like homecoming. It could like give you a lot of healing, a lot of rest, and 
it would be so intense that you would feel nirvana. That's a yoga term. I know y'all know what that is. It's also a group, a rock group, but anyway, a lo old rock group. Uh, Kurt Cobain, he passed away. Rest in peace, Kurt Cobain. Nirvana is a legal, it's like a yoga thing. When you go into extreme enlightenment, some kind of some kind of rush you get. I've never experienced that. I would I've experienced some highs, natural highs, but nothing like that. This person, y'all get together, you could experience nirvana. Yeah, man. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, man. That's some cool that's some cool stuff there. Ladybug, fortune, gratification, witches. Yeah. Wishes. I said witches. Yeah, there could be some witches around too. Wishes. Ten of Pentacles, both of you guys are in Ten of Pentacles, both of you guys are Knight of Cups energy, you have feelings for each other, you're attracted, your heart beat, your heart's beating out of your chest when you even get around this person, you know what I'm saying? And Fortune, Gratification, Wishes, Ten of Pentacles twice, all that, Four of Wands, Two of Cups, uh, there's, they're all, it's all over the place, Soulmate, Twin Flame, this could be the one, somebody you know, they want to marry you, they want to marry you, Aries. Are you are you up for the challenge? Let's see. All y'all gotta get rid of these karmics. That's what ended the cycle in the past life, you know. Karmic people, karmic relationship could be anybody, family, another lover, a child, you know, an animal. I'm just saying it as a joke, because there's some animals that actually have ran people off, but you know, only. But that's that's just meta, that's just something metaphorically to me. And what else? Anybody else? Friends, co-workers, you know, weirdos, strangers on the street. You know, you get the idea. That could be anybody, a group of people. It could be a, you know, if some of you guys are in trouble or something like that, and you you know, somebody's going through a legal situation, it could be people gang-stalking you. You know? Trying to kill you because you might know something. All right, this is love reading. I need to be quiet. This is love reading. Love only, spirit. Love only. All right, what is this soulmate? Thank you. Regret. Yeah, it's this person that you know already, Aries. They're in regret. They're in Knight of Cups and Page of Cups. They're teary-eyed. They may have um, apologized to you. They're realizing now how great you are. This is somebody that you were with. Yeah. Mm hmm healing okay that deception card was in reverse so this person is healing you know they're willing to come clean that's what I'm saying and karmic partner oh it twice twice karmic partner two karmics yeah because there were two queen of wands in here three queen of two no a queen of wands and your energy and somebody else's, and then another another queen. A lot of queens in here. I missed one too. Um, karmic relationship in the in the past, in a past life, and karmic now. See that person sitting in between you two could be somebody they're with. I'm not getting your person is not a karmic. I'm getting this is what is blocking you guys. This person regrets being with a karmic. They're they're healing. They're doing better. You've had a lot of patience with them. Uh, the hermit, this could be you. Like I said, you're in hermit mode. Uh, you got good vibrations. Action. This person may be getting their vibe up to take action towards you. Um, they feel abandoned by you. And look at that soulmate twice. This person is your soulmate. There's the one where the person's giving the woman a ring. Let me find that engagement card. Wedding. Retreat. Look at that. Engagement. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Y'all got all the, you know, all the, your counterparts. King, queen of wands, king, king, queen of pentacles, king, and queen of swords. And I saw a king of cups in there, okay? So I'm getting that queen of cups, maybe the queen of cups in the, um, that could be your energy too, all right? Okay. Overall, part, in new direction. So, looks like you may be going off in a new direction. You got some sort of understanding. You're devoted to something. That's, there was a barrier there. There's someone watching y'all. I told y'all, man. I told you guys. Somebody's watching. I told, oh my Lord, have mercy. 
Uh, uh, uh. What the hell? Anyway, some a karmic partner's watching your person. They're in fear. Look, this observer, this is a karmic partner. Watching your person in fear. They're afraid they're going to leave, so they're going to do everything they can. This person that is with another person that you know about. But your person is coming out of this. They're changing. Okay? They admire you. And this could turn into a union with the help of spirit guides. Divine feminine. Okay? Divine feminine. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. A union. A soulmate union. This is gorgeous. It really is. You could have been past life soulmates. Both people, both of y'all have karmics on both sides. Five of wands, five of swords. All right, I'm going to see. I'm going to make sure that I didn't miss anything because this is really a good reading. This is telling a lot of information. All right, I'm going to see something here. Um, this is called Eternal Messages by Lorena O.G. Tarot. Okay, I don't think you can get, well, I think you might be able to get, she's on Instagram. She used to be on YouTube. Uh, she don't have all the decks for sale anymore, but she might have this one. It'll be a new version. But anyway, Eternal Messages. I love that lady. She's such a good reader. She was bullied and gang stalked on YouTube. I wish that they had not, you know, nah, that's not right. I would have stayed just because I get bullied a lot. I ain't leave, I ain't going nowhere. I ain't going nowhere. All right. Eternal messages. What does uh, Aries person want to say to them? I want to dedicate a song to you. Yeah, they might commu uh they might communicate through music or they love or they that's how they talk. They get messages from music. They might be clear audience. I've been having dreams of you. And they act happy, but they're not. They want you to whoa. Divine feminine fell on the floor. Okay, Aries. <laughs> Give me a chance. I do want us to be in a relationship. But my nerves have been getting the best of me. I think about the future. And when I do, I think about you in it. I've been putting myself first. And it's only been hurting me more. I've been feeling your presence around me. When, I first, when we first met, I just had this feeling about you. Yeah, this is a real strong message right here. This person, when they the very first time they laid eyes on you, they had they felt something. They felt an immediate connection. All right. They may have even told you that, and you just said, "Ah, oh, they're crazy," you know. It was you. It was always you. I know more than you think. I'm planning to surprise you. Don't focus on who wants me. I want you. Because the King of Wands could have a lot of people that want to be with them because they're good looking and all that. Charismatic. Fun. But this person don't want you to worry about it. They don't don't focus on who wants them. They want, they want you. That's what they're saying. Or it could be vice versa. That's what they're saying. You know, they're not looking at any other people. Just because they're looking at them. Just don't wait on me. Please don't give up on me. They want you to not give up on them. They're healing. They're trying to get their, their, that deception card has been flipped over in reverse. So they, um, the angels took the mask off and they revealed themselves. I thought about living together. All right. You're so different, but that's why I love you. Yeah. They like the differences between y'all. I have options, but I only want you. That's, Confirmation on one card. I keep a close eye on your social media. I love you. And the overall energy was I have inner childhood wounds. So they, you know, they might need a little help there. And look, they're trying to help themselves. I'm so attracted to you. You don't know what you do to me. I don't, I hold back because I don't want to be rejected. They're scared to come toward you. They're afraid you're going to reject them. You might have rejected them. I don't know. I'm speaking through songs. No one can change my love for you. Yep. What's that song? Nothing gonna change my love for you. Da -da 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 -da. I don't know. I don't, I don't know the song. Can't think of it right now. 
I heard it the other day. I've been hearing love songs in my head. I mean, songs that I have on my playlist or songs that I've heard. I don't know what that's for. That could be for y'all because I'm seeing a lot of music messages coming come in. I've been hearing that and hearing that. And then I decided, especially today, so I decided to read y'all, read Aries for some reason. But I'll do more Aries videos if y'all watch them and give me a like. At least give me a like, something. Give me, get your Aries friends to watch because uh, I don't know why. My, this is, my Aries don't watch. I don't get a lot of views and I'm not worried about views, but it does help the messages get out. And um, I would be appreciated if you would, I would do more. Okay, if if I got more support, just... But I love the ones that are subscribed to me. Please don't get mad at me. But, you know, I want... These messages need to go out to other Aries as well, you know. And it can't get out if you don't hit the like and you don't subscribe and you don't listen to the videos. But anyway, I, you know, be I could ask for help. If you guys want to help me, that's fine. If you don't, I ain't mad at you, okay? Let's see. I had a deck I was going to use. Here it is. Urban Lyrics. This is some song. And if you don't like the urban version, you could switch it to your version. A lot of people, this could be changed. It could be urban, you know, R&B, or it could be um, pop music, or it could be the same ver song in, in, another, in another version. All right. Let's, let's clear. Clear. They're speaking through songs. What song are they speaking, to, trying to speak to you through, Aries? Because you're not talking to them. What kind of songs are they speaking through? I mean, what kind of song? Give me an idea of what the song could be. Zoom, Foolish Dreamer. On Bended Knee, I Call Your Name. Oh, hard to say I'm sorry. Okay, we got Zoom. This is um, the Commodore's. Yeah, I was just a foolish dreamer. Da, 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 da. I don't know the um words to this. Y'all can help me. On bended knee. Look at this. On bended knee. They want to ask you to get married. The ring's even there. Ooh, I'm, I got cold chills. Ooh, I call your name. Yeah, they're calling your name, Aries. Hard to say I'm sorry. They did, though. What did they say love is? Let's see. It's on here. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy or boast. It is not proud, rude, or self-seeking. It is not easily angered and keeps no record of wrong of past mistakes. It does not delight in evil. It rejoices in the truth. Wow, look at that. So, that's what love is, really. Okay? This person is trying to... This person is trying. They are. And there's another uh, song they want to dedicate a song to you. What could that be? What's the dedicated? Whoa. Irreplaceable. <laughs> okay. You're irreplaceable to them. Between the sheets. Yep. They want some of that, Aries. Baby, hold on to me. Don't let me go. Can't keep me away. Can you stay in the rain? This person wants to know... Can you stick to them through the good times and the bad? The rain is the bad, okay? Deja vu. They feel like they've known you before. Look at this. When we first met, I always just had this feeling about you and deja vu. So they y'all y'all recognize each other from this past life. If you want to be with this person, okay. Or they want they want to be with you. Um, look at that's another that could clear a whole lifetime of family and toxic a whole karma a whole life another lifetime of karma and things are going good for you now it could even be better you know anyway that's what i'm saying yep deja vu when we first met i always had this feeling about you love is kind love is is not love is kind love is patient you know love doesn't call out past mistakes anyway i'm feeling romantic tonight anyway this is victoria b with the Aries love line tonight. If you want to come on the video and talk. You want to say anything. Alright. If you want a personal reading. My text is in the description box. Just text that number. And tell, you, tell me you would like to book a reading. They're only $45 for an hour. 
And this signing off, this is the Aries Love Line. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, Aries. Love you guys.